decision, the draft doesn't mean It's anything. execution and decision making, yeah. Yeah. Because that's what No Limit were really lacking. The, the positioning, their communication between the tanks and the damage dealers were just not there. Yeah, it really wasn't. Now, Grok is going to be the first man here. Uh, don't want to give that Grok away to Execration. They have been uh, pretty good at, like, on that Grok. Uh, in recent uh, history, and of course, Grok is a huge uh, factor in team yep. fights. If you can zone out, uh, zone out somebody, that's already that guy dead. But execration, they can just ban whatever they want. But of course, they don't want to give away any easy kills there, so they're going to be uh, banning out Claude. Potentially going to be banning out Kimmy or Harith. First pick is going to be on No Limit side. Oh yeah, so just take away the heroes that you know No Limit can beat you with. Yeah, especially heroes that are just. Um, I'd say the safe heroes to be picked, like Kimmy, Harith, because... Mm, though, uh, it's always between the two in the first yeah. pick. Yeah, Harith is going to be banned. You know what? See the Zama Force is coming in. Mm. So, do we expect a Kimmy ban here just to be safe? If they allow Kimmy uh, out here, it might be a completely different story. But I'm pretty sure this might be a Kimmy ban. Mm. Mm. It's just something that really goes wrong, you know. I mean, she's up there in terms of contestion of the heroes that some, yeah, Kimmy. That's Kimmy Ben. Now, what JP needs to do is to secure a primary damage dealer or secure a tank. Mm -hmm. um, probably one main CC. Uh, Guinevere could be good. Uh, Minotaur could be a bit big. No, Leomord is open, but Kaja ah, yeah, yeah. is open. Yeah. There we so. go. A uh, highlight worthy hero with a Divine Judgment. Just pick a part. Because Execration moves so well around the map. And Kaja is a hero that can make that useless, the, the good movement. That's going to be a Cho. It's going to be a lesson on how to play each other. And the Leomore, of course, is going to be secured here mm. by Execration. Uh, one primary damage healer here for No Limit might be uh, picked up, potentially. You think they're going to go for a carry again? No, nah, I'm not feeling not. a carry pick here. Um, I could go for just secure Thumbs. Potentially a Harley? No, Harley is not a uh, sec second pick priority. Um, hmm. I don't know, they just need one, they just need the marksman first. It's gonna be carry uh, It's still gonna be a carry, okay. I mean, it didn't work last game, but you know, they are gonna give it another good try here. It's gonna be a carry and a slamus. So we're looking at the, some tanks here for the side of Execration. Minotaur is available, so I think they will probably pick it up for themselves. Uh, not yet. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be picking that. They're gonna be prioritizing their main picks. Um, I could see Belarik coming into play again mm -hmm. uh, for Lard really have been a huge factor. Yeah, because like what we said earlier, Execration, they were just reacting to the plays no limit we're making. And Belarik is a good, one of those good counter initiation heroes with that extra sustain. Yeah. And now the bans are going to be the huge factor here for No Limit. Who are they going to be banning? They can, they can literally ban anyone and still be a problem for, and still have no sweat coming down the mm -hmm. foreheads of Execration. <laughs> I mean, they could, they, we have Etamax and Lord here. Uh, Hellcurt can be picked up and can be banned as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Zapnu has been really good there. Oh, they banned the, the Hellcurt. That's going to be a uh, Hellcurt ban now. They could ban out a tank here, ban out Minotaur. Uh, their only primary uh, setup here is going to be Kaya. So <laughs> if they could ban out Ka uh, Minotaur, might be a good thing. But they also don't want to give away burst uh, heroes here for No Limit. Kagura is going to be Kagura, banned. Yeah. There we go, Kagura is going to be a priority there. Now Minotaur can be picked up. Instead, it's going to be a Lunox. Add more damage to the... Add more fuel to the flames of Execration. Um, Plus they need one more. So they're, they're, they're going to go for the Minotaur. Uh, Burst Mage. And a Mage, yeah. Harley? Gushin's open. Gushin? Gushin or Harley? What do you think? I don't feel Gushin being picked up. Instead, it's going to be a Guinevere. Huh. No, they're, they're changing it up. Well, the thing is, uh, Execration have ways oh. to, to uh, interrupt oh, hold the Violet up. Requiem. Wow. This is not looking like a... Well, it looks good on paper, it's but... It has to be, everything has to be perfect for No Limit too pull this off because they have to time the Violet Requiem as well as the Minoan Fury perfectly because otherwise there's just so many ways for Execration to cancel it and with a Diggy will be their last pick as well. It just completely cancels out the CC and know. yeah let's look at Execration here real quick. They have Oof. Belarik and they have Diggy. Yeah. They don't have CCs. I mean they're just gonna play their game. Like no yeah. limit. They are the ones that have to make the perfect plays while Execration they're just gonna react. 
much yeah. like what they did last game. Yeah, as soon as we see uh, Minotaur going in for the Minoa Fury, or as soon as we see Kaja going in for the Divine Judgment, all Belarik and or Diggy has to do is pop their ultimates. Yep. As soon as the ultimates get popped, whoever gets targeted is safe. I mean, Execration's lineup is just so much easier to pull off. Plus, on top of the fact that they generally have the better players as well. Yeah, it's a huge factor. Now, I think the main question here is, uh, will No Limit uh, get a Game 3? It's gonna take one hell of a game from them, that's for sure. But let's see. Yeah, it's I gonna be hard. It's gonna be very, very hard. Oh man, Execration looks like it's... It feels like gonna, it's gonna be a 2-0 game for Execration. Yep. Just because that their reactive uh, self is just way, way yep. too much to handle. They read the no map limit. so well. No Limit had no chance with their map movements from early game. Unless No Limit have like a complete turnaround, it's gonna be very unlikely. Unless we see that, but why don't you introduce uh, the teams here real quick. On the side of No Limit, we have JP on that carry, Rafflesia on the Minotaur, Kill VJ on that Thamos, Sky on his Guinevere, and MM on that Kaja. Now on the side of Execration, we got Etomax on that Cho Dian. On that diggy, Lard as a bell, Rick Pakbet as a Ludox, but while that's happening and the team rundown, I think they're gonna be going for a kill here. No, that's not gonna happen. Pakbet is gonna be on that Ludox, and Zapnu is gonna be that Leo Mord. No limits, they, they still want to go for this, but they will not get Zapnu. They're a minute too early for the rotations to just turn it into a turtle as well, so. Yeah, Turtle. Uh, I mean, they're committing a lot for this No Limit, and they didn't get anything. They just got jungle camps, but. What is that, right? <laughs> I mean, they didn't, they're they denying XP and farm from Zapnu. That's, That's right. one thing. But, but Zapnu, with the caliber of player he is, deny him farm you as much as you want, he's still gonna find it at the end of the day. Yeah, he's still gonna be able to scale really well in the mid game, especially as that Leomor than Zapnu has been quite literally been a god on a Leomor for a couple of uh, for a couple of games already. He can just go 1v5 against people and still manage to survive, barely survive. No Limit have a very, very slight lead. They're on thin ice though, if they will be able to keep this momentum going for them. They're already posturing for the turtle as four heroes are nearby. Yes, yeah, so oh, also want to this. okay. JP goes in for the pinwheels and there goes the knockup from No Limit. Finally getting the first blow on the diggy and fact, bet these are the tanks. These are the plays that No Limit have to make. If they want this, yeah, it's gonna be a free turtle for them because of this. Oh, so. Etomax was actually down to uh, half HP from Thumbs. But no real killing blow potential there from No Limit. Yeah, not yet, but the Lord is. Not the Lord, the turtle yep. is gonna be secured a here a by No Limit. A bit too early for the Lord, my friend. <laughs> a bit too early. He has yet to be risen again. Mm -hmm. But what's gonna happen is, is this mid lane might be the primary target here. Uh, for No Limit. They are pretty deep in the top lane though. That is true. They're between the third. As well as oh, oh, DJ DJ? actually uh, got oh. Jeet Kune Do there, but... That, that was a man fight. fight right there. <laughs> man to man. Mano y mano. But I am him. I was making the rotation and show will respect that. Yeah, kind of over saying you're welcome here. But uh, yeah. Barbiel is gonna be summoned. Yep, but Minotaur did burn his flicker for that one, so... Not too bad for Execration. Oh, but no and Fury. No. That, that was just one. That was a no man Minoan Fury. Yeah, that was true. That was a no man <laughs> Minoan Fury. But over here in the side lanes, we see Thamos still trying to go for those jungles. And there goes the Divine Judgment connecting onto Dian. So that's the CC out. Time Journey is going to be popped, but way too late. Pac Ben and Etomax are still alive, though. Yo, let's shine. light at the end of the tunnel here. No Limit are securing objectives and ahead of Execration. No Limit are playing well. It's all about consistency because it's a marathon. We say that time and time again. And Reflation might drop here, but he does leap away. JP, kind of in an awkward spot here with MM. And uh, Ordered Brilliance is going to be a uh, pot. Uh, hoping to get a lot of uh, damage done there. They do, but it's not enough. Zapnu. Kinda of pretty aggressive here. Is he gonna go for a kill? Is he gonna go for a dive? I don't think that's gonna be the case. The call is to play it safe, and that is what's gonna happen. 
Sky did fun. That was the first kill of 4 execration. There's 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 still execration. There's still watching sure no watching sure no limit under their noses. Uh if anything, the low limb is actually going to be poisoning towards the turtle. But execration, they're moving down now. Even if no limit start this execration. Over on the bottom side. Yeah, and as they're just going to be uh, staying on their side to try to keep it safe, try to minimize the loss if ever they get uh, initiated here by execration. H oh, HPs nice. are going to go and drop low. There goes the minimum fury. Turtle is going to be secured by execration. Ordered uh, Brilliant is actually going to be pop off back. Secures again on the sky. Kill Jake takes down Lord. It is going to be a lot of HPs yeah, going down. Path. Two for two trade. The next creation securing the turtle. E to Max is going to go and survive. G Kundo Suit. Oh, kind of oh, yeah, welcome there, sir. He's going to fall down. Two for three Ooh. trade. Kill VJ playing out of his mind. Yes, this might be the comeback. <laughs> He started off that fight with leashing Turtle over to the Oh, I think he's actually going to go for the Abdo here. Oh, Zabdo. Yeah, goes for the joke, but over the top lane though, Etomax did not connect in the way of the Dragon. And Kill VJ found that solo kill onto Zatnu while and everything was happening. Carry does fall, but Kill VJ, he is primed to take over this game at this point. Yeah, and they are going to be sort of equalized here, but No Limit still has a significant edge. 3,000 gold lead. But the third pushes are not uh, in favor of execration here. Mm. One, two for one. But yeah, no limit. They're fine. They're reading the map so much better now. Their movements are so effective. They're finally, they're finally finding the yeah. the dividends that they want. I guess the problem here with the uh, execration is that Zapnu isn't really uh, joining the team fights just yet. So we haven't been seeing uh, feeling his pre his yep. presence all throughout. But. Him joining these team fights was slowed down thanks to that solo kill from Kill VJ and now MM yes. with a divine judgment onto Lard. And Lard is actually gonna survive Nature Shield and Time is gonna be out. But there goes the knock up onto DNA and he's gonna be uh, taken out. But Lard, Zapnu is actually joining in on the fight, eyeing out JP there, does take him out. But the firepower is just way too much here on the side of No Limit. But it's gonna be e Max and Zapnu alive, and Zapnu just has to make sure that he's alive. Zapnu against the world. Kill VJ, are you gonna go for this play? Not under the turret, it seems like. Yeah, not under the turret. But that was a bad, bad initiate there by Execration. They could have just backed off there yep. entirely. No limit was just there. All the ultimates were actually forced as well. The time journey and the nature shield. So it's really not a lot of sustained by Execration as soon as the ultimate stop and the turtle is gonna be secured by no limit. I mean, JP's been having a rough game, but hold that fight. Oh, that's going to be another easy kill. Lord. Order Brilliant is going to be popped, but not a lot of damage there. Dean dropped to, dropping to half HP, and that's going to be Zapnu being taken out. There goes the Minimum Fury again. Woo. And that's going to be another follow-through here by No Limit. Dean dangerously low on HP. He is going to have to back off. Nothing much that he can do there. Ito Max is going in for the fight. Does get a triple kill for himself. It's just going to be Kill VJ here on Ooh. the mid lane, but the He's damage is too much for him. For it. He's lining up. He doesn't have the wave the wave wave the dragon just yet. Goes for the Jeet Kune Do and the Shun Po. Oh, but he yeah, actually yeah. is gonna go oh. for the mega kill. kill. Unofficial maniac. But while that happened, JP secured another turret in the top lane. Finally, some space for carry. But Kill VJ, he put his head down, wanted that kill so much, and he paid the price. That was unfortunate. That was an unforced error if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that was really, really something from Execration. Um. If anything, this might be a, the opportunity for Execration to come back because Eat the Max, 7 1 0 currently on that show. Yep, definitely a much better show game than the one from MM earlier. But MM also playing a much better game for himself on this Kaja. A couple of highlight worthy divine judgments, but. Yeah, that's a 79% kill participation on that Kaja. Wow. Quick maths right there, my friend. Maths right there. There goes another Divine Judgment on to Zapnu. Zapnu has Minoan to go Fury. back. Minoan Fury is going to be knocking off Lord. Zapnu has to fall back. Doesn't have enough HP there. Pakmen is going to be joining the fight. And while that's happening, there is a bit of a scuffle there over in the bottom lane. But we're not going to be paying attention to that just yet. And that is gonna be going to be Lord taken out. And that's going to be no limit going in for the aggression. Well, they they are going to get Pakmen. 
who that was they are hungry my friends they are indeed hungry and fuck bet with just that save your friend mentality he could have abandoned lord a long time ago but he wanted to stay his hesitation cost him his life and it's gonna be a free lord for no limit and no limit primed to force that game three we thought was unlikely yeah game three might be coming up but while that's happening Ethan Max is just doing his job over in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane is going to go down. But still 7,000 in favor of No Limit here. Ethan Max, he can't afford to not join the next fight. Definitely yeah. can't. He has to be there. Lord will be spawning over in the top lane. No Limit, are they going to walk with the Lord? I don't think so. Yeah, they're going to have to uh, split push their way if they yeah, want to uh, force execration in a bad spot. Max, because of what Eto Max did, the forcing the bot lane rotation. It's just a level 1 Lord as well, so it's going to be very easy for execration to just contain him. Yeah, I mean, this is a heavy presence of no limit here in the mid lane while Thoms is going to go, to go for the split push. Now, execration has to make the defense of a lifetime in favor. They want to get a 2-0 sweep, which is still com uh, entirely possible. They're just they holding just, hands right now, so. Yeah. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Rightfully so, and they just need to uh, play their cards right here. The Lord is going to be pushing on the top lane. Bottom lane is going to go down. It's just going to be inhibited turns here for Execration. It just has to rely on the initiations here. The Lord is uh, dropping low. Turret should be oh, safe. That's going to be a two by middle one Fury. All the ultimates are going to be pop as well. The Saints are going to be way too much here. But the damages are not yet present here for Execration. Gets a knockup. Violet Ult Requiem is going to connect on to Lord. He's going to be taken out. So that's one tank out of the equation. Mid lane turret is going to be the next uh, target here. For no limit, and I guess they are going to be going for the split push here. Oh, yes, and oh, Zapnu, oh. Zapnu, Zapnu, Zapnu flickers out. No divine judgment available there for MM. That's going to be the bottom turret going down. Oh, and that's Max. Max, kind of an easy target there. Ooh. Manages to Jeet Kune Do his way out of there. Middle lane turret is going to fall down again. That, that was such a close call for Ito Max. Just biting off more than he sh can chew, but... Oh, there goes oh, the no. divine judgment off the diggy as well. He's going to be bursted down dead. to oblivion, and that's going to be a three man. Man, oh, and Fury. By no limit, and this is gonna be game. That was beautiful, beautiful game from no limit. They finally find what they were looking for. The rotations worked for them early on, and they did not let go of that driver's seat. That is going to be game number two, and we are gonna be seeing a game number three. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a fun game three, that's for sure. But MVP, I have to give it to Kill VJ. Definitely played out of his mind that solo kill. On to Zapnu of all people. Props to the man. Props to the man indeed. And he was just applying a lot of pressure on the map as well. He was on the bottom lane just trying to prevent the pushes from happening.